today you're gonna to see me put together my Christmas coffee station. And the first thing I decided to do was put up this wrapping paper, yes, wrapping paper on my backsplash because I wanted to cover up the outlets and other things there. And also I have a sign that you couldn't really read unless the paper was there. And while I'm here, I want to tell you guys about Living with Cambria. Today's video is a collab with her. She's also going to be doing a Christmas coffee station over on her channel, but I want you guys to go subscribe to her because you've heard me mention her before. I don't know if you guys remember the pumpkin cake that I showed you in my whole house clean with me. She is the one who made this pumpkin cake. It's delicious. This is my favorite video she's ever done. You guys need to go over there and subscribe and show her video some love. And you're really gonna love her channel, I promise. She does a lot of videos just like me and you guys are gonna love her, I promise. The next thing I needed to do was just stage everything and place it where I wanted it. Some of the fun things i added some sugar and then i added some candy canes that i'm going to use as stirrers and hide them in this cream cup all the way. Oh, what fun it is. in case you're wondering where i got the mugs and these plates they are from this year's christmas line from hearth and hand at target i also wanted to make sure that i had some stuff that could be used in coffee as well as hot chocolate since some people don't drink coffee especially my kids I wanted to add some snacks to my coffee station that could be left out for a party or having friends over and I was inspired by the concept of one of those very lush cheese boards with all the different meats and cheeses and olives and all that kind of stuff and I kind of wanted my little snack station to look similar to that. These little Rice Krispie Balls are my kids' favorite Christmas dessert. They don't really like cookies that much, but they love these Rice Krispie treats. Now the trick to making your board look lush is to try and have everything seem like it's running together and overlapping, and it'll just make it seem like there's a lot more than there is there, and very lavish. Don't forget the coffee. Some people really like cream in their coffee. Some people can't have it without cream. And all I had on hand this particular day was almond milk. So I thought it would be cute to put it in this jar and put it out at the station. And that was the final touch. This is the final product and I absolutely love it. I think it's charming and fun and it can stay here all season because we eat these things, we drink these things, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that red button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish.